You see, uh, what I would have done is that I would have isolated certain groups, not the whole economy. In the United States? Everywhere. You see, you have to isolate. I don't know the situation in the United States because it's a, you know, totally different. I mean, I'm, I was concentrating on our own economy. But it's not easy. It's, it was always going to be a problem. Remember, we had a young population which also helped us. But at the same time, our health care compared to the Europeans and the, and the United States was non-existent almost, if you compare the two. So, um, uh, so we, we decided that if we lock... Now, here was the dilemma. If we lock down the economy, people would starve here. If we opened it up and then it spread, we would not have the health care to cope with the influx. So we decided that we would just isolate little areas and, um, and you know, stop gatherings where it was possible, but open up factories, construction. And fortunately, it worked for us. So five months later, there's another spike, there's a second wave. How do you see the possible winter COVID situation moving forward? Well, you know, every, I, everywhere the world uh, is experienced the second wave and this winter, winter wave. Now, we are again, I mean, uh, we are again going, we're not going to shut down our economy. We know we, if we shut down our economy, there'll be serious consequences on the poor people. Remember, what COVID has done is, it has really, it's hit the poorer countries the most and the poor in all countries the most. Even in rich countries, the poor have been affected. But in our countries, like in India, they have crushed the poor people because they, India went for a complete lockdown. So fortunately, we saved our people and also we had this SAS program where we gave cash out, handouts to, uh, you know, uh, almost 15 million people, the families. And that really saved us from the worst impact of the fallout. So we are bracing ourselves for the winter now. And we, are, we will stick to our policy of uh, selected areas, you know, trying to isolate them. But we think that we just are not in, the country cannot afford a complete lockdown. Prime Minister, um, phase three trials of a vaccine are well underway in Pakistan. Pakistan and China are collaborating on a vaccine. Now, where is Pakistan vis-a-vis -vis, uh, 2021 vaccine needs? Well, China and Pakistan, we are collaborating for a vaccine. Um, and I can't say until... Um, you know, I, until we have a definite result, I, you know, there's no point in talking about it. But we are collaborating right now. But do you see relief coming in 2021? I can't say. I mean, we've, we've heard of this uh, uh, Turkish couple that come up with this, uh, this vaccine. But, uh, you know, I, I was just reading how in the, the temperatures, minus 70 degrees where you need to preserve it, it probably rules out almost all the developing world.